Hello everyone. Today I'm trying to give an update on my dahlias. See, these are the dahlias blooming in my garden. It's in every branch has got lots and lots of flower buds. And this is some of the cuttings I have planted. And I have totally forgot about them and uh, they've already been infested by some fungus. You can see the diseased leaves. Today I'm trying to grow them in some poly bags as I'm already out of my pot. See I've grown them in two different pots so that I can remember the color. This one is in uh, peach or pale pink color, not actually baby pink. So you can see I'm trying to pull it out but then I'm not able to pull out. That means the root has formed nicely. So I have to loosen the soil a bit by shaking the pot a bit like this. And see, yeah, I have already planted them only in soil medium, which is only reverse sand. See, see how nicely the roots have formed. Let's see the other cuttings too. See, this one also, how heavily the roots have formed. This will be a successful plant now. See the other one also. This one also. Nicely formed. Mm, this is not that much. But then let's see the others. Mm, this one is a failure. It has not produced any root. But it's okay. I have got other successful ones. See this one also. Great roots. Let's see, almost every cutting have grown so well. They produce so nice roots. And let's see the other. Yeah, this one also. Yeah. And this one has formed a little bit less soil, um, like roots. As you can already see they already have blue side in the cuttings also. Let's see the other pot now. Let's see, two, three of them have failed to form roots. In the other pot I have planted the shade color. I mean like it has some shade in white and pink. So these are how they look after I have took them out from the pot. Let's see how how about this pot. We will follow the same procedure. We'll loosen up the soil like this. Shake the pot a bit. Since it is only reverse, then it will come out easily after you shake the pot like this a bit. Let's see. Let's see how, how these three four cuttings have done so far. Actually, I have put these cuttings around 20 days back and I, I check them and I can already see new buds coming out. That means the roots have developed. See how nice they have developed here also. But some fungal attacks have started. Let's see, let's see the other ones also. I'm so happy the roots have developed so nicely in each and every cutting. It has got a flower bud also. Now, now we have to make some soil mix for this cuttings to be grown. And for that, we'll mix. Uh, I'll show you later. Let's just appreciate how well the roots have developed. This is how I make the soil mix. Like I have mixed like around 60% of garden soil with around 30% compost. You can take any compost and around 10% cocoa pit to make the soil well drained. Like this I took a bit of them. I did not measure it correctly, but I always do like this. I do a lump sum measurement of the soil like this. And 
put this and add some neem cake powder to make the soil disease free and keep it cool because it's very hot right now here and then I'll add some bone meal also to this I'll add some Ipsum salt which is also help them develop more roots and help the growth of the plant like this will mix them properly the soil thoroughly and if you have a rice house you can add in the soil also and this uh, is how I have grown them in polybags we'll water them thoroughly and we'll try to keep them in the semi shed or the steady area for two to three days until the plants have already adapted to the new new soil and new medium and after that we can put them out in the well exposed uh, sunlight area and i'll show you some of the previous cuttings i have made in the same procedure see i have grown this from the similar procedure from cuttings and have well and please don't forget to pinch them when they reach a height of around 30 cm this will help in making the plant more bushy like this this were the first batch of cuttings i made and they have bloomed more than like four three four times already.